In this video, we will see how to use React Context API in version 19 of React. Version 19 of React makes the React Context code a bit simpler than the previous version of React. To demonstrate that, I have this full stack link sharing application. Here, once I select any image, it immediately reflects on the left side section also. For that, I'm using Context API. So this is the data provider component, which is using the data context. This component is returning the data context.provider. And the user selected image is stored in the profile image state. So for that, I'm passing this update profile image function as well as profile image state value. This code is for React version 18. So let me open the package.json file. As you can see, we're using React DOM version 18 and also React version 18. Now let's install the React 19 beta version. For that, you can scroll to the end of this page. Click on this React 19 beta upgrade guide. If you scroll down, you can see the installation instruction. So we need to install React at beta and React DOM at beta. I can say yarn add. You can also use npm install instead of yarn add if you want. Now you can see React Beta and React DOM Beta version is installed. Now let me restart the application. Note that with this version 19, the previous syntax of using Context API is still valid and you will not get any error. So if I refresh the page and check the console, you can see it still works and we're not getting any errors. Now with version 19 of React, we can simplify this code. Instead of using data context.provider, we can just use data context. So this is the data context we have created. You can also call it just data instead of data context if you want, but I find data context more explicit to use. So with version 19, you don't need to add dot provider while providing the value prop. And wherever you're using the use context hook, Instead of the use context hook, you need to use the use hook imported from React. This hook is available only if you're using version 19 of React. Now instead of use context hook, I will just use the use hook and provide the same data context. That's it. Now let me restart the application to verify there are no errors. And if I refresh the page, you can see there is no error in the console. Now let me try changing the image. You can see the left side image is correctly getting changed, which means the new use hook is correctly working with context API. So that's it for this video. If you want to learn Mern Stack from scratch and learn how to build and deploy this beautiful full stack link sharing application using Mern Stack, then check out the link in the description. So that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.